All right, my friends, let's get back to our game with our refresh phase. We're going to pass the first player token. We're going to refresh our find gate, and we're going to check our blessing. Sister Mary, of course, is still back in the woods. She's still blessed. Hopefully, she will get to leave the woods. She has a bunch of money, a bunch of gate tokens. Sadly, though, she only has three stamina. So as much as I would love for her to go womp on some monsters with those icy streets, I don't know if she'll be able to do that. I'm worried she'll get knocked out. She only has a movement, a speed right now of three. So let's see where she can go. So with her movement of three, and we don't want her to end up in the streets, she can't really get to any monsters, right? Uh, we have someone in the gates right now. Um, there's one gate that spawned we didn't send someone through. So the plateau, that's where Kate is. And Yagoth is where poor Pete got sucked through. So we do have this gate, the unnameable. It is being guarded by this terrible monster. Um, not resistant to anything. So I think we can do one of two things with Mary. We can send her one, two, three into the science building where she can turn in um, one gate trophy to gain two clues. That would put her to four clues. Remember, she's desperately low on clues. Or we can silence her one, two, three to the boarding house to turn in two gate trophies and pull an ally. I don't know if there's really any allies right now that um, I really want her to take. Um, so I think sending her up to the science gets her close to some of these gates and monsters. So let's one, two, three. I guess we could slide her speed up by one. So we could get her to four. One, two, three. So we could send her to the unnameable. Hmm. One, two, three, four. She can hook up, hook up with Joe. Yeah, I just don't want to leave her in the streets. Okay. Yeah, let's just tick up her speed to four. Give us the most options on the board. And then we will decide what direction to send her. Yeah, I really think that monster is just too tough for Sister Kate. So, oh, poor thing. Yeah, she just needs some clues. All right, so we could we could tick her speed up by one, and we're just going to have her try and get some more clues. All right, Joe. Joe is delayed in the other world, so all he's going to be able to do is stand up. He has plenty of weapons. Plenty of sneak. That's not going to help him. I'm a little worried about his his fight and will uh, with a focus of three. So maybe he has such a nice he has such a nice hand of cards here. I don't know if we need his fight to be that high. So let us move this down. Let's make him a little more willful. Let's move him. Uh, like here, just in case we don't want him to go insane in the other world. All right, so he's ready to deal with that. Miss Kate is also in the other world, and is there anything she needs to do? Um, I don't know why I have a, that's weird. Ignore that, ignore that. All right, uh, fight, lock, bullwhip, enchanted blade, elder sign, old journal, mo yeah, okay, she's fine, I'm pretty sure. Um, so her fight right now is plus one, plus four, plus one. Okay, so her fight is really high. So I think I will also tick her will up just a little bit, especially in case she wants to cast any of her spells. So let's, let's tick up her. 
Oh, I, I guess, yeah, let's tick up her, her will by one. Okay, she's good. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Ashcan's the one who's delayed in the other world. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Shoot, I just, I just hit that. Where was that? Ah, I'm guessing it was like that. I'm guessing. I'll look back and find out. Okay, sorry, he's in the other world, so he's the one who's delayed. So just kidding, Joe. Oh, Joe is at Silver Twilight Lodge. All right, let's look at what he's gonna do. So the dynamic duo split and Joe has picked up a physical and a magical weapon. So he technically could go after either of those. So let's pull them. Spawn is in Rivertown and Elder Things in East Town. Let's check them out and see which one he wants to take out first. All right, so let's slide this tracker back up to the four. I believe it was at four zero. Oops, sorry, not Keat. My goodness, it was him. One, two, three, he was at five zero. Okay, so here we go, here we go. Here are our choices. Neither one are particularly lovely. Um, if we go for physical immunity, okay, he will be able to use his lamp, which will give him plus five to combat hits. He will have to get two successes and this is the kooky part though, this darn sanity loss. He only has four sanity. So taking a two sanity hit, remember that leaves him in the streets where the monsters can move on to him and the flyers can fly on to him. So I don't know if I want him to be that close to insane. The other problem is this guy here. Um, he is a minus three to the sanity check, but he is a little bit easier to kill because he um, is not physically resistant, right? So we can use our shotgun that hits for two and there's no negating any of our um, dice on this one. So we would roll the full plus four Plus, so we'd be we, we'd be rolling nine dice looking for two hits with a shotgun doubling. So this would be really cool. The problem is he's going to take a minus three sanity hit, which is terrifying. Um, he's going to be very close to insane. Remember, we can always spend a clue. Even if the modifier says we're at zero, you can always spend a clue to roll. And Joe has hunches. So when he spends that clue, he is going to roll an extra die. So if we want, we could spend a clue, roll two dies to try to pass this sanity check. We can do that for either one of them. So do we wanna go all in and take out our physical dude? Because if we do that, we could slide his will up so he does have a better chance of passing the will check. It's just going to be harder to kill him if we do that um, because he's going to be rolling plus four, nope, plus five. And if we slide that up, so he's be rolling five dice and he needs two successes. Either way, it's a gamble. Either way, it's a gamble. I think... I think we'll do the one that comes first. So maybe uh, both of these guys are so terrible. Who do we want? Let's try with the clues. I think, I just think we have a better chance of killing this guy and I really want to use the shotgun, I'm not gonna lie. So let's aim for the elder thing, okay? We don't need much movement for that. He's got speed for days. So I think I will up his sneak just in case when all this is over and monster movement happens, he has to get away from monsters. So let's let's up his sneak three, one, two, three, boom. And he, he is ready, <laughs> he is ready to get the heck out of Dodge. Oh, wait a minute. Let's make sure he has enough movement if I do that. Yeah, of course it's this way. Of course it's this way. So if we want to take out the elder thing, okay, so he could go <laughs> one, two, three, four, 
five. So we need to give him a movement of five to scooch around this river town chaos. All right, so let's set his speed to five and send him after the Elder Thing. We can deal with his sneak later. Okay, Kate, we already did. Ashcan. Ashcan's the one who is delayed in the other world. All he's going to do is stand up. So how's he looking? Uh, he has, um, he's, he's, he's got two revolvers. He can cast a spell if he wants. Interesting. All right. Uh, speed and sneak look good. Fight and will look good. Luck and lore. I think we'll just leave him. He's got, he's got doggo. He'll be fine. Okay. A little messy, a little messy of a upkeep, but let's go to Ar let's go to Arkham and do our movement phase. Joe is our number one man. So we are going to send him the long way around here. So he's going to go in order, in order to get to the monster of his choice. One, two, three, four, five. Ending his turn right next to the Alder thing, right next to the spawn in the town where we have flyers. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. All right, Kate and Joe are in the other world, so they don't have their movement yet. So our next and final movement will be Sister Mary. And dear sweet Sister Mary, for the first time in this game, is leaving the woods <laughs> with her speed of three and heading to Uptown, Miskatonic, into Kate's old stomping ground at the Science Building, where hopefully, fingers crossed, she will finally get some clues. Okay, Arca movement, done. Other world movement. All right, Miss Kate, let's see how you do. And this is easy enough. She moves farther into the plateau of Lang, and our poor boy, Pete, gets his feet under him in Yagoth. Easily done. All right. Arkham Encounters. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Let's see if this gamble pays off. Okay, Elder Thing. So we're going to have to start with a sanity check of minus three. We automatically fail it, but Joe is going to spend one of his precious, precious clues here in order to roll two dice, all right? Because of his hunches, he rolls one extra bonus die when he spends a clue token. So let's see if we can avoid going insane when we finally set eyes on this elder thing. Ooh, not good, not good. Do we want to use one more clue? You know what, why not? Let's use it, let's burn it. They're there for a reason, they're there to be used. Come on, Joe. Oh, double twos again, all right. Nothing we can do there. He loses three sanity, he's borderline crazy at this point, but he has enough of a nerve left to pull out his shotguns and open up on this elder thing. He needs two hits. We are rolling five plus four. We are rolling nine dice and every success whoo, is doubled. My favorite type of roll. All the dice in your hand. Come on, Joe. Yes, easily, easily, easily. Oh my gosh, there's just, there's metal everywhere. Um, he, <laughs> mentally, he's down. Physically, though, he did great. All right, we finally get to claim a monster trophy. I hope it was worth it, Joe. You absolutely have to get out of here. Get yourself to the hospital. Shore up your brain. Okay, good job, buddy. Uh, other world, other world. So Mary, oh right, right. Let's let's take care of Sister Mary. Let's let her have her, an Arkham encounter. And instead of having an encounter, you can spend one gate trophy to gain two clues. Quiet turn for Miss Mary. She's going to take her clues and be happy. So let's head over here to the other world and. Let's start with Miss Kate. We're looking for a red or a green 
Let's see if we pull here. Oh, here's one right now. Uh, Raleigh Dreamland's other, a lurking monster appears. Well, that could be worse. It could be worse. Let's see what happens. How about if Kate stumbles upon a... Oh, it's a flyer. Oh, it's Amigo. Okay, Amigos aren't too bad normally. Uh, if you pass a combat check, return to the box. Oh, gain one unique item. We'd love that. All right, Kate, let's see what you can do. Um, oh, gates and monsters cannot appear in Kate's location. Wait a minute, just kidding. I don't think, I don't think this counts. I don't see anything that says it only works in Arkham. I think, oh man, I would actually love to take out this Mego and get a unique item, but I don't think it's allowed to appear. I'm going to put that back in the bag and we're going to pretend like I never drew that. I'll double check if that's right or not, but I think cannot appear in Kate's location. I, I don't see anything that says it has to be an Arkham. I mean, I have fit, her flux stabilizer works everywhere, right? Okay, just kidding. Nice job, Kate. So Kate blanks this event, which is great because next turn, she's gonna come out of the plateau and seal it with all of her crazy amount of clues. Uh, let's slide down here next and deal with poor old Ashcan who is moving through rather slowly here, but he's got Duke with him, so he'll be okay, he'll be okay. Uh, let's see, blue or yellow, green, Yellow. Do we have a Yagoth? We don't. Time and space bend around you. Make a lake luck minus one check. If you pass, return to Arkham. <gasps> if you fail, stay here. No, no, no. No, no, no. We need to pass. We need to pass. Oh, wouldn't you know it? We're not very lucky. We only have a luck of two, so we're going to be rolling one die for this. I have nothing that will help. This is just combat checks. Will, okay, we do have enough to spend one clue if we really, really need to. I mean, it's not the end of the world if he stays here, there, but if he could come back, oh, please, please. No, no, okay, let's spend one, just one. That's all we're gonna spend. Let's try again, get another die. That one didn't work, okay, come on, come on, come on, Pete. Yes, it worked. Okay, it bounced off of this, but I'm still going to count it. I'm still going to count it. He did it. His luck was with him. So he is going to immediately return to Arkham. Let's see, Yagoth, where did he come from? Oh, he came. Oh, there's a monster waiting for him. Okay, well, he can deal with that. He can deal with that. Let's get him an ex. Blur token. He is going to have an exciting turn next turn. Okay, so when you emerge, you don't, you don't, you don't, we don't trigger the monsters quite yet. Um, but I believe this monster won't move that he, now that he's here. Ew. All right, good news, bad news type of a deal. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so coming, popping out of the gate does not trigger the monster to attack you, all right? You're safe the turn you come out of the gate. The monster will not move away from you. So if we pull a moon, this little zombie, he ain't gonna wander off. He's staying right here with Pete. So Pete is gonna have to either evade or fight the monster on his movement turn. Then, depending on how that goes, he'll be able to seal during his action. Okay, I believe, I believe Pete is our strong man. He's gonna do this. We do get to the icky part, which is dun, 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 the mythos phase. All right. All right, so the vigilantes are gone. Let's see who pops next. How about oh, dimensional rift? Okay, okay, okay. Unvisited Isle. That's the one we sealed. Oh, we're so lucky. So no, no gate, no doom, no monster. Oh, 
This is fabulous. Okay, next, let's move some people. So do we have any, uh, what do we have? What do we have? Okay, both of our flyers are circles, so we can ignore those. We know the zombie doesn't move. Oh, haha, <laughs> our formless spawn though. We'll move along the white. <gasps> oh, thank goodness. You know, Joe is cowering up there in East Town because he senses movement of something very large and slimy that heads out of Rivertown and into the French Hill. Oh, okay, okay. Zombie's not moving. Um, this guy is a triangle. Sadly, he does activate, but remember he has that special ability that says, instead of moving, roll a die on a four to six, all investigators in Arkham lose one stamina. So we would like to fail this roll, please. We did not. Okay, who is in Arkham? Well, we have everyone except Kate. Wow, everyone except Kate is going to take a stamina hit. And I forgot about this. Uh, Icy wins. Ooh, poor Joe. So he's going to take two stamina hits. Wow. All right, let me take away everyone's health. except for Kate, right? Kate is technically in the other world, so she will not suffer from this. And of course, she's the one with the stamina necklace. This girl, this girl is, I'm telling you, nerds, man. All right, uh, so this is instead of moving. So he is gonna stay where he was. He's not gonna go anywhere, darn it, but that's okay. Oh, science building, <laughs> Sister Mary. Gets another clue. She's up to five clues and twelve dollars. She's doing very well. Okay, let's see. Dimensional Rift. All dimensional shamblers and hounds of Tindalos are returned to the cup. If at least one monster returns to the cup, raise the terror by one. Okay, that's all right. We don't have any of those on the board, so nothing happens from the mythos face. That wasn't that bad. That could have been a lot worse. We didn't get a gate. We didn't get a monster. We didn't get a doom token. All right, we are cooking along here. We burned through a lot of clues this round, but I think it's worth it, okay? I think it's worth it because we are gonna get two gates off the board. Good old Ash Can is gonna be able to seal this with enough clue tokens, assuming he makes the roll. Um, it is a minus two, so it's kind of a hard one, but I believe, I believe he's gonna be able to do it. Um, he has to get through this zombie, but it has a very, it's very easy to sneak through and it's also easy to fight. So I'm not, I'm not, I, I believe in Pete. Um, let's see. We also have Kate who's going to be coming back into the Plateau of Lang. She has a clue tokens and an elder sign. So she's 100% sealing hers, which means we will have sealed three gates and we'll only have two open. I think we're going to keep Joe... Um, is going to head up to the hospital, heal up, or, or heal up his sanity, the asylum, sorry. Um, so we might have to get him some money so he can do that. Uh, but he needs, he needs a, he, he needs to talk to someone about the things he's seen. I think he's also going to have to name his shotgun, like Bessie or something, because she is, she is coming through for him. So he needs to go heal up. Um, but Sister Mary and, uh, finally has enough clues to go through and seal a gate as well. There's not a clue, there's only one clue left on the board. So clues are kind of in low supply. Sister Mary also has a lot of money. So she might also want to try and dig maybe for another elder sign or something like that. We finally got the monsters under control a little bit. We have two in the sky, two on the board. So we're down to four. We have our gates under control. We just need to clean this up. We are at that moment where we can either seal this up, finish it off, or we have a lot of shitty rolls and we end up sad. <laughs>
But let's, how about not that one? How about not that one? We need some, we, we need some good news in our life. So we'll set up, hopefully, to seal two gates, sanitize our poor man, and send Sister Mary out across the board. Okay, I'm excited for next turn. Here's hoping everything goes as planned.